This is just regular diesel, like you yep. put. Okay. Yep. About how many gallons goes in? Uh, this is a 40 liter tank, so it's about, it's about 10 gallons. Yeah. Will 10 gallons pretty much give you a, a full day of harvesting? Uh, that's what Graham said, yeah. Him, he must come down the ramps, not crossways. Otherwise, you'll run the ramp and track off.
terrain here is like the what we have. It's um, bulls. I, right now I'm handling it with, with my knee boots, but this is all Pumacalo areas. Very, very wet. Some holes are deeper, and it's it's 110 feet of clay lake bed, Red, Red Yard Pickford clay here. Like say so this bag mighty is twelve foot tall without is it without still cut it? You're still cutting, you just go slowly. Yeah. Okay. And um wait, wait, shoot. Uh, we put in uh, we put in ten gallons of gas total. W would that last the machine all day long? If uh you, depending on how hard you work it, you probably want another twenty liters. Okay. Maybe. It depends totally on the the energy you're taking out from the engine. Right. Right now, with the, the way we're cutting right now, with the bin, uh, how many binfuls would you would estimate we get? Oh, I don't know. Oh, oh okay. I don't know. Oh. No, that's because it depends how thick the crop is. Right. You know how sparse it is, how far you have to travel. Right. Yeah, of it's course. All, you can't actually put a figure on that unless you've got a constant amount of material that you know that's going in at right. a certain height and a certain volume. Uh -huh. yeah. let's, let's say you were going to cut um, uh, half an acre, um, and it was a maybe average height. Uh, would you say you need a couple of fill ups? Or, like I know it still depends on how thick it is and all that. Yeah, but, I don't really know. Really no. It would run basically. It would run for about six hours, or maybe. Oh, okay. depending on how much energy and what power you take. That's a good estimate. Yeah. 
going to dump it. Okay, about about walking on it and being able to, um, if you said if you can walk on it, like for example, we're walking on this, but they're like hummocks and hollows, yeah. we're walking on it, it's so... Um, so if you can walk on it without sinking, so if you can walk on it, you know, you sort of up to yeah. top of your worries, we can drive on it. Okay, and uh, how, how deep of water, like what's going So on? you, the depth of water you want, you don't want to be going above the top of the track, because if you go above the top of the track, the fan in the engine, Hit the water and the fan will throw the fan down. The fan is not the fan. Um, and, and now for dumping it, we, we, um, we, I noticed that it just dumps downward. Is there some way to dump to get it to into the, the live bottom? You'd have to have some ramps. What's that? Ramp. Yeah. So you could have some ramps to back up onto okay. and then tip it into it. Okay. And that's the one way. You can't make it tip any higher. It's not a high tip body. Got it. I just said okay so Graham just had a few more questions before we head out and um, one was uh, the pounds per square do you know what the pounds per square inch yeah is? this this machine unladen is one and a quarter psi okay. so to yeah. laden if you put two tons on it it's, it's two and a quarter wow um, now do you know what, what the estimated weight might have been like we just dumped out a, a full bin of reed canary grass but that depends on how wet it is I mean, what we were cutting um, with the ball rushes was probably a full bin would have been a maximum of about 500 kilos. That would have been maximum. Okay. But it depends on how wet the material is. Okay. But it has a capacity of carrying up to two tons. Up to two tons. Wow. That's um, an eight cubic metre bin. Okay. And um, now, and you said that you can, if you can walk on it, you could, the machine can go through, but if you're walking on it with boots, let's say you walk on it in the boots and it goes up to the top of your knee-high boots, would the machine still be able to handle it, but not hurt the soil? Yeah, it would sink maybe an inch. Okay. Um, but the damage is actually done when you start turning. So okay. if you actually tur try and spin the machine around on one spot, then you, you will damage the surface. So it's better to... You do want to do wide sweeping turns. Okay. So it's a driving technique. Unless you want to intentionally disturb the mm. surface. Uh, yeah, to, yeah, to, yeah, to, yeah. Okay. Um, now, if, you, if we're coming, I, I forgot to mention this before. If Let's say we're coming in and out quite a bit to, to fill up the truck. So it would be better yeah. to have like a track or, or something. Uh, to go it depends. It, it is better to actually fan into a different area. So use a, it depends how wet the site is, because otherwise you'll create big ruts. Right. So. Yeah, you, but is there some way to lay, lay a track down so in case you do have to come in and out quite a bit? Or uh, you could put um, boards, ply board. This ply, okay. Something like that. Right. Um, to spread it. <coughs> Oops. And we know what type of fuel and we know we fill up at a gas station, but um, should we have, have fuel on site or do we always leave to go fill it up? Or? No, you need to have fuel on site because the machine holds about 40 litres okay. and then in a good day you would use that. Okay. And you can replenish uh, with jerry cans. Okay. Uh, how much? How much would you suggest having on site? But, but ten gallons or so. Or yeah, I would have ten gallons. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, now, how much of an incline can the machine handle? Like going in and out of the marsh. I think, I think 35, 30 degrees, thirty-five degrees, something like that. Okay. It's, it, the machine won't tip over. It's what you feel safe. 
you know, you would feel uncomfortable before it became <laughs> unstable because okay. the center of gravity is very low. All right. Um, and is it possible to change the cutting height? Yeah, that's variable, which is what you're doing all the time. But what's the lowest and highest, do you know? Uh, the lowest is ground level at the moment because he set the machine at ground level. Right. Because at the next site he wants to, to be able to cut in deeper water, so we've made the, I think the top cutting height is about 600 millimeters. Okay. So it's, it's uh, minus from ground level to about 600 millimeters. Right. Um, and, <laughs> and cutting, and, and I think we already asked this though, but cutting, t cutting a 12 foot frame. Yeah, you just, no yeah okay. you just go slower. No problem. Yeah, you just go slower. Okay, I think, I think that's it. Well, thank you, yeah, Graham. Yeah, it's thank okay. You. It's a pleasure. <laughs> yeah. Would you, one last thing, would you tell us, tell me again about the RSPB? Program? Yeah, the RSPB is the Royal Society for Protection of Birds. And what are the, what part of their strategy is to um, market the products they produce off of the wetland through the RSPB. Because people would like to see that they're actually funding by purchasing. Right. So, so but does this create a market then for people to plant invasive plants? No, yeah. no. No, it doesn't. Because there's not there's enough. not enough money in it to do that. Right. No. And there never will be. Okay. And how long have they been doing this? They've been doing this for probably 10, 15 years. And it's successful. Yeah. Right? In a way, it's successful. But they do that to a lot of their products. They come off. They'll they'll even pick up a piece of driftwood, and because it's come off the RSPB, and they put it in the in the RSPB shop, and because it's funding, it's supporting the RSPB. People will buy it. So, so. You're saying many people. We have many members oh, okay. uh, because they're all bird watching. So, you know, mm. they want to support, and that's one way they can support um, that, and the organisation. It's an RSPB shop. It's yeah, a lot of the um, reserves, uh, viewing points, and things like this would have a little shop, oh. and they would have they would run videos, and they would have maps and displays of the area, the walks and okay. so yeah, it's wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. Well thank you for sharing that. Yeah, that's fine, yeah. <laughs>